Okay, how many single limit go away out of question, sir? Next question. So, how to solve this question? So, look at once. So, here solution and solution. We have the question this one x tends to infinity 2x square divided by 3x square plus 2. So, if for this question, we can divide it by x tends to infinity 2x square divided by x square and 3x square plus 2 divided by x square. So, in this case, we have to divide the numerator and denominator by x square. So, for this solution, one of the we have one of the result or one of the example here. So, for infinity divided by infinity, we should divide it. Always we should divide numerator and denominator by highest power of x. So, this is the one of the case. If this case happens or occurs, infinity by infinity case, we should always divide the numerator and denominator by highest power of x. As the as we know the reason of this, then here is the degree of x is 2. Highest power of x is 2. So, divide this numerator by x square and as well as divide this denominator by x square. So, this is the highest power of numerator and denominator. So, we have the same highest power of x which is x square. That's why we have to divide by x square in numerator and denominator. Now, we can cancel this term, this term and this term. Limit x tends to infinity. So, we have 2 in this numerator and if you separate this one then we will get 3x square divided by x square plus 2 by x square. So, if we separate this term then this upon this plus 2 upon this. Now, we can cancel this term and this term and the remaining term we can put the value of x. So, while solving this question, we can put this term for x is equal to infinity. So, 2 upon 3 plus 2 by infinity. So, this will be the problem while substituting the value of x in this denominator. So, if we solve it, then we get 2 upon 3 plus 0. So, as you know that, some finite number divided by infinity is always 0. That's why it will be 2 upon 3 plus 0 and the final answer is 2 upon 3. So, which is the approximate value of this function when x tends to infinity. So, this is the required solution and in this way we can solve this problem. So, this question is slightly different because if you put the value of infinity in numerator and denominator, then we have from 0 by from infinity by infinity. So, this is also one of the indeterminate form because as you know that there are three basic indeterminate form. One is 0 by 0, another is infinity by infinity and the next one is infinity minus infinity. That's why for this case, we have to eliminate infinity by infinity form from this question. So, we can't direct put in this question. That's why for this case, we have to do this rule. So, dividing numerator and denominator by highest power of x. So, this is the solution. So, we can see the one of the another question. Limit x tends to infinity. 5x square plus 2x minus 7 upon 
3 x square plus 5 x plus 2. So, this is the question. So, how to solve this question? Look at once. So, if you put the value of x over here, then it will be 5 times infinity square. So, it will be infinity. So, finite number into infinity means always infinity. And 2 into infinity means it will also infinity. Minus 7 means infinity. Minus or plus some finite number means it is also infinity. So, similarly, in denominator, if you put the value of x infinity in this term, then we will get 3 infinity plus 5 infinity plus 2. So, overall result is also in. So, this is the form of infinity by infinity. Here, the in solution we solve it by. So, let's write the question first of all. Then 5x square plus 2x minus 7 divided by 3x square plus 5x plus 2. So, here the form infinity by infinity. This is the indeterminate form obtained by this question. So, we have this question and limit x tends to infinity 5x square plus 2x minus 7 upon 3x square plus 5x plus 2. So, this is the form of infinity by infinity which is also called indeterminate form. So, if you see this term in the indeterminate form, then we have to remove this form and how to remove? So, its step is this one limit x tends to infinity then 5x square plus 2x minus 7 divided by x square. The highest power of numerator is x square as you can as you can see this then it will be x square and in numerator we have also highest power of x is x square. So, what is the reason? Dividing numerator and denominator by highest power of highest power of x that is x square. So, here x ko highest power one ko x square ho. x ko power 1, x ko power 2 ma sabbanda thulo x ko power 2 sa. This is numerator and denominator dubai lai. Zaili pani x ko highest power le divide garnu parsa. That means this is x square. Now, we can cancel it by separating the numerator and denominator. So, here we can separate this term like this 5x square divided by x square and 2x divided by x square and 7 by x square in numerator. And similarly in denominator also this will be this upon this plus this upon this plus this upon this. So write down 3x square divided by x square. 5x divided by x square, 2 by x square. So, after separating in numerator and denominator, this will be the expression. Now, we can cancel this term, this and this cancel. This one of the x and one of the x is cancelled. This x and one of this x. Similarly, this x square, x square cancel. This x and one of x is cancelled. Then, what will happen? Now, here we have 5. So, 2 upon x means 2 upon infinity and 7 upon infinity. So, this is the expression after substituting this limit. I mean, direct x ko value infinity rahe ka so, jun x variable remaining term sa, this ma x ko thao ma infinity, rayapani infinity ko square means it will be infinity. So, this will happen like this. And here is also 3, only 3. Here is 5 upon x means x ko place ma infinity lekhne. So, write down infinity plus 2 upon again this x is replaced by infinity. So, write down infinity. So, now calculate this one. So, we will get 
सम फाइनाइट नंबर अपॉन इन्फिनिटी इज ऑलवेज जीरो एंड सम फाइनाइट नंबर अपॉन इन्फिनिटी अगेन जीरो एंड हियर इज थ्री एंड सिमिलर प्रोसेस जीरो एंड हियर इज आल्सो जीरो सो द आंसर इज फाइव अपॉन थ्री सो एज द प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन दिस क्वेश्चन इज आल्सो इन द फॉर्म ऑफ इन्फिनिटी बाय इन्फिनिटी सो व्हेन वी सी दिस फॉर्म देन we have to remove this form by dividing numerator and denominator by x square x square in this question x square is the highest power of x so we have to divide it by x square so in this way for this case we should divide this one this by highest power so this is the solution of this question so we have next question Limit x tends to infinity, root under x minus a minus root under x minus b. So here we can solve this question by. So first of all, check the form whether this form is in indeterminate form or not. So we the given function. takes the form of takes infinity minus infinity from when x is equal to infinity so in our limit is x tends to infinity and when we put this x infinity over there then infinity minus a means it is infinity and infinity minus b means it is infinity so infinity the root of infinity is again a infinity so that's why infinity minus infinity it is the form of infinity minus infinity so i have written over here the given function takes infinity minus infinity form when x is equal to infinity so in this case we can operate this question by by multiplying conjugate so in the case of root this is the differences between two roots so such type of for such type of expression we should always multiply by rationalizing term that means if there is minus then we take plus sign so it is also called conjugate conjugate of this term so what will be the conjugate of this term this will be root under x minus a plus root under x minus b so minus the opposite of minus is plus only you have to change the sign so x minus a plus x minus b so this is the conjugate of this term and multiplying and dividing by the same term then we get this minus this a minus b times a plus b so what will happen a square a square means root under x minus a ko whole square and b square means x minus b ko whole square so this is the algebraic formula and the denominator is remains same now we can solve it by removing this bracket and making a square so x tends to infinity so root and square both cancelled then we get x minus a similarly this square and root again cancelled and we get x not minus now minus into minus it will be plus so this will be the term and the denominator is same now we can cancel x and x now we have in numerator b minus a here b is positive and a is negative so arrange like this and in the place of x we can write down infinity infinity minus a infinity minus b or we can write directly infinity 
infinity minus a infinity minus b we can direct write down the infinity so this result is infinity now b minus a so this is infinity this is infinity so this is again a infinity infinity plus infinity it will be infinity and some finite number where a and b are different number and this upon infinity means zero so this is the answer so if the function gives the form infinity minus infinity when x is infinity then we can operate it by taking conjugate and after taking conjugate applying conjugate finally we get some finite number upon infinity and some finite number upon infinity means it is zero so in this way we can solve this problem we have the question evaluate this function when x tends to infinity so this is the question again we can see that when x is replaced by infinity then what will we get now let's consider so if it is infinity this becomes infinity while substituting x by this symbol and this is also infinity this is also infinity so as a whole we get infinity minus infinity so this this is the case of infinity by infinity form so the function gives infinity minus infinity form when x is equal to infinity so this is indeterminate form which does not give any solution so that's why it is called indeterminate form or its value is which value gives given by infinity minus infinity we are not sure so when x is equal to infinity now limit x tends to infinity root x root x minus a now we can conjugate this term root x plus root x minus a divided by root x plus root under x minus a so here this is the differences of two roots or two source duita source ko bich ma athwa duita root ko bich ma yadi plus athwa minus auncha bhane we always apply conjugate rule or rationalizing the numerator or denominator whatever it may be and numerator go rationalize garda we have to take the opposite sign this is plus sign so multiply this one root x linu pardaina so what will happen what is our next step then root x is same and a minus b into a plus b so that means a square means root x square this means x root x ko square when you go x answer similarly root x minus a ko whole square when you go x minus a minus becomes plus because here is minus and in the middle we have minus sign so sign will be changed and denominator we have root x plus root under x minus a so this is the next step after solving this one so we can cancel x and x and now we have root x times a here is only one a and here is root x plus root x minus a as you can we can see that form infinity by infinity you place ma java summa x rahi raancha numerator and denominator ma rahi raancha teti bela samma infinity by infinity aai raancha so for this case we should remove this x from numerator and denominator so for this we can remove it by dividing numerator and denominator by highest power of x so highest power of x is root x yaha pani root x cha yaha pani root x cha numerator denominator dubai ma 
रुट एक्स ले डिवाइड करो तेसो गर्दा आमी इन्फिनिटी बाई इन्फिनिटी अटोनो सक्छो र इन्फिनिटी बाई इन्फिनिटी फर्म को लागि अलवेज न्यूमेरेटर र डिनोमिनेटर मा डिवाइड गर्नु पर्छ सो लिमिट एक्स टेंड्स टु इन्फिनिटी सो इफ वी डिवाइड दिस बाई रुट एक्स एन्ड हियर इज आल्सो डिवाइडेड बाई रुट एक्स x minus a divided by x. So, root x chutte lekhnu ra whole as a whole root lekhnu ya uthe meaning ho. Aisa ke lekhon. So, root x root x cancel. Here root x root x cancel. So, we can write it down by like this. So, it will be x tends to infinity a upon this is 1 and if you separate it x by x minus a by x then it will be 1 minus a by x after separating this term this upon this minus a upon x x and x will be cancelled so now we can put the value of x which is replaced by infinity 1 plus root under 1 minus a by infinity and a by so some number upon infinity means it will be 0 and we get the value 1 only and 1 plus 1 means it is 2 so this is the solution here we can see that a upon infinity means 0 1 minus 0 means 1 and root of square root of 1 is again 1 so 1 plus 1 means 2 so in this way we can solve the problem first of all this form we can see and for this we have to take conjugate over here then after we have root x in numerator and denominator as well so to remove this infinity by infinity form we again divide this numerator and denominator by highest power of x this is the rule so we can divide it by root x, root x and root x. So after simplifying or cancelling the term, we get such a term. And finally, we substitute this x by infinity and we get the required term, a upon 2. So this is the required solution. Okay, students, we have one theorem. Prove geometrically that limit sine theta by theta when theta tends to 0 is equal to 1, where theta is measured in radian. So, this is one of the theorem of uh, theorem related with trigonometric function, limit of the trigonometric function. This is trigonometric function and its limit is always 1 in this case. Sin theta by theta when theta tends to 0 is always 1. So, we are going to prove this theorem where this theta is always given in radian this theta is measured in radian angle as you know that angle is always measured in degree grade and radian but it should be radian not in grade and not in degree so radian is compulsory so now we are going this theorem this value is always one so let's draw the picture because it is geometrically we are we have to prove it so let's see its proof so for this we can draw one of the circle one of the circle and circle means it is center so center is o circle having center o and we have the one of the diameter this is a and this is b and a b c is a circle so this is a circle now write down let a b c b a circle of radius of radius r where r is o a or o b OA is also R, OB is also R. This is also radius. And now we we are we take PB the moving point. So one of the point is taken in the circumference. 
of the circle. So let P be a point, P be a moving point, P be a moving point in a circle. I am going circle ma, yoda P one point, moving point line so, jun point move by ramsa and join this is the arc ap is the arc and join po we can join p and o in this way now let ap be an arc which makes which max ang angle theta at the center at the center at the center o ap bhanne arc le center o sanga theta degree ko theta radian ko angle banauncha this is the angle theta which is always measured in radian and ap bn arc this is arc this ap is the arc and this arc makes angle theta at the center as you see in the figure so now let ba that ba is produced from this point p one point ma hami euta tangent draw garchu tesko lagi ba side la hami yesari produce garchu so produced ba and from this point we can draw one of the tangent like this this is the tangent so the meeting point of this line is q so this is another tangent at this one let pq be a tangent tangent at a point p which means B A produced at Q. So B Q be the tangent at a point P, which meets B A produced at Q. Q one point ma hamile jun produce karega chhu. Two point ma yo tangent le meet karsa. So P Q is the tangent. Tangent means a line drawn at a point. Which point? lies in a circle circle ko kunai euta point bata just touch bhara jane line nai ke ho ta tangent ho testo tangent hami p point bata draw garchau just le b a la produce garda kheri q bhanne point ma meet garcha now we can join a and p like this join this a and p now a p is joined AP is joined in the figure and draw this here is draw we can draw this is the right angle triangle so this is PR suppose PR is the right angle triangle this is the perpendicular to this one now PR perpendicular to OA or AB whatever you write AV is drawn. So this is PR perpendicular to AV is drawn. P bata AV ma amile perpendicular draw gare ka chon. To answer amile draw gare So from figure, from the figure, we can see the one of the triangle. OAP is one of the triangle. So write down area of a triangle area of triangle aop is less or equal to this is the triangle aop and area of a sector area of sector this one aop is the also area of the sector Sector AOP, this is the one of the sector. 
which is not a triangle only sector and less or equal to area of triangle the largest one opq is the largest one opq so from figure we can see that area of triangle aop is less or equal to area of sector aop as you go from here to here then the area of triangle increases sabbanda sano triangle oap sabbanda sano triangle to bhanda thulo oap chai hamro jun euta arc cha yo arc yo arc yo arc ko area triangle bhanda greater cha triangle ko mathi cha area ra yo sector bhanda pani sector ko area bhanda pani thulo area hamro opq ko cha so in this way you can write down this area all the areas are written in ascending order you one that you greater you one that you greater now this is equation one this is one equation one now we are going to find area of this triangle area of this sector and area of this triangle so i mean palai palo turn by turn in your go area nikals you area i mean triangle but any girls so let's see here area of triangle a o p so how to find area of triangle this triangle now a o p means it is half into base into height base means o a write down o a it is base and height means it is p r this is the height this is the base and this is the height for this triangle o a p so o a into p r so this is the base into height so write down this one value of this one so 1 upon 2 oa means it is r and pr means it is r sin theta so it will be 1 upon 2 r square sin theta so r into r means r square sin theta so how to obtain how to get this r sin theta from pr so look at once so this is the reason so in triangle aop as you find the value of sin theta sin theta means perpendicular and just side just opposite to the reference angle your angle ko just opposite hamro perpendicular cha so perpendicular is pr and hypotenuse means right angle ko opposite bhaneko op cha op cha yaha chai so pr means op sin theta so from this pr is equal to op means also we can write down the small r so it is r sin theta from here pr ko value ami esari nikalna sakchhau r times sin theta garne bittike we get the value of pr so so in this place we can substitute the value r sin theta which is 1 upon 2 r square sin theta so this is the area of triangle aop similarly we can find out the area of sector aop now now our turn is to find the area of sector aop so write down area of a sector a o p so how to find the area of sector do you know so in area of sector so we have 1 upon 2 r square theta so this is the area of sector so how to find the area of sector as you know that area of sector is the formula of area of sector is theta upon 300 60 degree or we can write 2 pi 2 pi times pi r square so this is the formula to find the area of sector so total angle in a circle is 2 pi angle go total circle go total angle 360 degree huncha so it is 360 so out of 360 here is angle theta so write down angle theta theta upon 2 pi out of 2 pi and this is the area of the circle so total area of the circle is pi r square 
So write down pi r square. Now we can cut down this, this, pi, pi we can cancel. So this is 1 by 2 r square into theta. So 1 by 2 r square into theta. Or we can say that like this also. It is circle pure 2 pi on the circle 360 degree gunda. Isko area on pi r square on the one radian on the 2 pi radian on the this is radian 2 pi radian on the pi r square on the one radian on the on the pi r square divided by 2 pi divided by 2 pi and theta on the kati on the and theta on the theta on the pi r square divided by 2 pi into theta. So if you cut down this one, then half r square theta. So in this way, also we can find out the value. We can use a direct formula or we can use unitary method. 2 pi or 360 on the area, circle area, pi r square on the whole circle 360 on 360 on the total area circle go pi r square on the one on the, we should divide it. To find the less quantity, we always divide and theta on that angle is not known here, angle is unknown. That's why theta on that into theta gaurnu paryo, angle akosa into theta gaurnu paryo. So it will be half r square theta. Similarly, area of a triangle OPQ, so this is the triangle OPQ, the largest triangle. So this is the area, area of triangle OPQ. So it is also half into base means it is 90 degree for this triangle OPQ. Base is PQ. Base is half into base into height. This is base, this is height. Or this is OP and height means PQ. This is PQ. This is base into height. So for this triangle, this is base, this is height. The, the side which is just right angle is hypotenuse, not height. So if you write down the value, OP is radius. Line joining to uh, center is always radius. And the value PQ is R tan theta. So obviously it will be 1 by 2 R square tan theta. So we can uh, PQ but your R theta ki na yo, I mean I So this is the reason in triangle A O P Q just now O P Q triangle. So tan theta is equal to P upon B. So P means it is P Q divided by B means it is O P and it is P Q divided by R. And as you find the PQ value of PQ, then it will be R tan theta. So from the figure, just now I made a bakra I made a figure banayo, figure banayga thiyo. To figure ma tan theta I mean nikal so you triangle ma triangle OPQ ma you triangle OPQ ma tan theta ko value nikal la perpendicular by base P upon B unsa or P ko thau ma PQ same. Term OP go home R. OP is radius and PQ cross multiplying we get PQ is equal to R times 10 theta. So in this way we can write down R 10 theta and it will be half R square 10 theta. So all the value we can insert in equation 1. So from 1 we get now area of triangle AOP means this one half r square sin theta less or equal to area of a sector AOP. So its value is this one half r square theta and area of triangle OPQ is this one half r square tan theta. Now we can cancel half r square half r square half r square from every term. So we get here is only sine theta, here is only theta, and when 1 by 2 r square cancel, then it will be 
tan theta. Now we can divide it by sin theta. Sin theta, here is also theta by sin theta. Here is also tan theta means it is sin theta by cos theta. And again divide it by sin theta. Dividing throughout the term by sin theta. Or a term like sin theta, sin theta, sin theta, divide God is home, or a tan theta like sin upon cos pen in the So, we can cancel sin and sin. Here is sin and sin. So, we get 1 less or equal to theta divided by sin theta less or equal to 1 by cos theta. So, after cancelling, we get this term. Now, make it reciprocal. So, what reciprocal of 1 is 1. Reciprocal of theta by sin theta means sin theta by theta and reciprocal of this means it is cos theta. So, Matiko sabi term or lai amili reciprocal gari hoonhani, this sign will be changed. Inequality sign change unza hai sari. Inequality sign change unza. So, this is the rule. Ay, bhalo ulto baron bithi ki sign will be changed. If we know that 2 is less than 3 or 4, then if you make it reciprocal then 1 by 2 is 1 upon 3 then it will be greater so this is just opposite rule of inequality so 2 means 2 is always less than 3 1 by 2 is 0.5 1 by 3 is 0.3 so 0 0.3 is 0 0.5 greater so if we make it reciprocal then the inequality sign will be changed so this is the rule so we applied this rule over here and taking limit now taking limit theta tends to 0 throughout the term throughout the terms subway term ma is a limit theta tends to 0 linzo so you need the limit theta tends to 0 1 greater than limit theta tends to 0 sin theta by theta limit theta tends to 0 cos theta I say I am a term or my theta limit theta tends to 0 in so so for this we can solve the question so let's see here what will happen here now limit here is only one constant number so limit is not necessary here so we can write down simply one is greater than and theta tends to zero sine theta by theta that is we copy only copy this one sine theta by theta greater or equal to so this is our target our objective limit sine theta by theta when theta tends to zero you are the term so this is the same level is much theta would home at zero it will be cos 0 cos 0 so cos 0 means what sin theta divided by theta and cos 0 means it is 1 so here we can write down so your jun term I will see your term is 1 manda sano unsa tar yehi term phiri 1 manda thulo unsa that means this term will be uh, Never be equal and never be greater than the same term. That's why we should write equality. Your term sangha one pan equal unza, you one pan equal unza. You take term one manda sano or one manda tulu, it is not possible. So we should take this one limit theta tends to zero sin theta divided by theta is equal to one. So this is the theorem. This is our theorem. So in this way we can solve or we can prove the geometrical uh, limit of trigonometric function when theta tends to zero geometrically. So this is the geometrical meaning or geometrical value of this this type of function when theta tends to zero. So it will be always one in the figure of circle. So area of three types of area are shown here. So first of all find area of small triangle then after area of sector, then after area of larger triangle. And if you find the value over here, then we get such a term. Okay, now 
लिमिट्स ऑफ टिग्नोमेट्रिक फंक्शन ट्रिगोनोमेट्रिक फंक्शन भर्खर हमें एटा थियरम जोमेट्रिकल थियरम पढ़ साइन थीटा बाई थीटा वेन थीटा टेन्स टू जीरो इजकल टू वन सो वी हेव थ्री लिमिट्स ओवर हियर लिमिट साइन थीटा डिवाइडेड बाय थीटा इज अलवेज वन वेन थीटा टेन्स टू जीरो जस्ट नाउ वी हेव प्रूव दिस वन सो इन नंबर टू लिमिट थीटा टेन्स टू जीरो टेन थीटा डिवाइडेड बाय थीटा इज अल्सो वन भर्खर हमें जोमेट्रिकली प्रूव कर थियरम को हेल्प हम टेन थीटा बाई थीटा वेन थीटा टेन्स टू जीरो स्क्वल टू वन पर प्रूव कर सकता माथिक थियरम को हेल्प लिख पर्च इसको वन सो कर सकता सो इन नंबर थ्री लिमिट थीटा टेन्स टू जीरो कस थीटा बाई थीटा व्हाट विल बी द वैल्यू इफ इट इज वन नो सो इट इज नट इक्वल टू वन इट इज नेवर इक्वल टू वन वन होने रिजल्ट साइन थीटा बाई थीटा को लगी मत हो टेन थीटा अपन थीटा को लगी हो यो दुईटा केस में हम वन आईटा केस में सो इन दिस केस वी कांट राइट वन सो दिस इज फल्स रिजल्ट दिस विल नट बी वन बट हियर इन दिस केस एंड इन दिस केस और फर साइन और फर टेन इफ थीटा टेन्स टू जीरो इट विल बी वन सो लेट्स प्रूव दिस दिस लिमिट वी कैन प्रूव इट अल्सो विथ द हेल्प अफ दिस figure now limit this is the second number so limit theta tends to 0 and 10 theta divided by theta so if we put the value of this theta go value s mara s mara hada k pines are 10 0 one ago i'm okay pause on 0 it is the form 0 and theta go home and 0 so this function takes the indeterminate form 0 by 0 while substituting theta is 0. Theta got home at 0 rather it will be 0 upon 0. Answer. So we can't put directly 0 over this in the place of theta. So for this we have to solve like this sin theta divided by cos theta. Tan theta means sin theta by cos theta. And this theta is same. We can put in front of this one. So we can now limit theta tends to zero sine theta divided by theta. So one of the result we can arrange like this. You sine theta or theta go term lami sorry arrange garna satsu. And our co remaining term amrutha limit theta tends to zero one upon cos theta. So this is the another term. So yeah, sin theta ra theta ra ek thaw mein arrange garne ra 1 upon cos theta ra or ko thaw mein arrange garne ra isma ra isma ni same limit repeat garna saksho limit more than one times use garna paayin cha by algebraic property of limit so bakkar is just amil e proof gare ko limit sin theta by theta when theta test to 0 means it is 1 it is 1 and when theta is 0 here we can put theta value is 0 cos 0 theta got home at 0 rather cos 0 and cos 0 means it is 1 so write down 1 so the total value is 1 so in this way tan theta by theta is again 1 so for this case also we can write down 1 sin theta by theta theta takes to 0 the matter 1 i negative tan theta by theta by 1 so these are the limits of trigonometric function sin, tan, and cos. So sin theta by theta one on the one. Now I will like this one. Let's write limit theta tends to zero. Theta divided by sin theta is equal to also one. So it is the reciprocal formula of this term. So here is sin theta by theta is also one, and theta by sin theta means also one. So it is the reciprocal of 1 and we know that reciprocal of 1 is again 1. I will allow ulto ban on the pani, you theta la upon my leona sakinza, sin theta by theta garna sakinza, or sin theta by theta garda, 
तो पनी one होन्सा one by one बने को one नहीं होन्सा similarly this term limit theta tends to zero theta upon tan theta is equal to one so if we make it reciprocal then its value is also one so is to athwa is to zoom form bani ami ami lano saksu so with the help of this properties or rule we can do more exercises many questions so with the help of this property so remember this property this and this we can solve much many questions evaluate limit x tends to 0 sin ax divided by x so look at once how to solve this question so this is the question first of all copy the question sin ax divided by x so first of all write down it will be the form of 0 by 0 form of 0 by 0 when we put value of x here and here then it will be sin 0 means of course it is 0 and here is also 0 so this is indeterminate form so we can't substitute directly in the place of x this limit so we can solve it like this limit x tends to 0 0 by 0 on with the ami direct limit ko value rakh dai no esko lagi chai ami esto garnu parcha term milaunu parcha sin ax divided by ax and into a so this is a hamile esma yo sin ko jun angle cha ax to ax nai ya entry garyau thapyau ra a thapda hamro x ta already cha not additional term a chai hamro additional term bhayo so we we can multiply here so it is divisible that's why to balance it we can multiply it over here so divide garni bittike ami yalai multiply pani garchu so esma value amro ke huncha ta aba if you use the property of sin theta by theta then it will be 1 ya sin theta cha sin theta by theta bhaneko 1 auncha ra a theta tends to 0 cha aba ya ax into a into a garna paincha limit ma athwa nagari pani problem chaina so sin theta by theta when limit x tends to 0 it will be 1 and here is a so our answer is a so this is the answer so we have this question now limit x tends to 0 sin ax into cos bx divided by sin cx so this is the same question or oh, that means it also gives the indeterminate form sin ax cos bx divided by sin cx so it is also the form of 0 by 0 so check it kina yo 0 by 0 ayo we can check it x could homa 0 ra the sin 0 means it is 0 0 into something it will be 0 and sin c into 0 means it is also 0 so math in numerator ma pani 0 denominator ma pani 0 esto auncha so we can arrange the term like this sin ax divided by ax into ami sanga term cha yo sin ax ko tala ami ax rakhchu मिलाउनु को लागि त्यसपछि cos bx लाई के गर्नु पर्छ यो ax चाहिँ हामी यसरी मल्टिप्लाई गर्न सक्छौं cos bx इट इज सेम डिवाइडेड बाइ sin cx पनि हामी के गर्छौं sin cx डिवाइडेड बाइ cx एन्ड वी क्यान मल्टिप्लाई cx नाउ यो अ भखर पढेको प्रोपर्टी अनुसार इट इज sin थीटा बाइ थीटा इट विल बी 1 सो टु मेक इट टु 1 then we can divide it by ax. So that's why to balance it, we should multiply together. Jun kurali ami balance garso, to divide garso. Tele multiply bani garno pare. Cos bx that is same. And here is sin theta divided by theta. Same term repeated. Yo angle jay gosa, jay diye gosa, tesala repeat garno parsa. Into cx. Tela balance garno ko lagi cx garno. Now, we can arrange like this x tends to 0 sin ax divided by ax this is one of the term and here this x and x cancelled 
and similarly limit x tends to 0 sin cx divided by cx this is also 1 you term you bracket ko term pani 1 huncha you bracket ko term pani 1 huncha and this is a upon c or we can write down limit x tends to 0 cos bx into a by c baki ko term uta pati lekhne yo baki term ma pani hami limit lagna sakchau limit limit esari separate garne so this will be 1 this is also 1 this is also 1 and when the value of x this x is replaced by 0 then it will be cos 0 into a by c so cos 0 means 1 and a by c so answer is a by c so in this case we can write down the one of the theorem we are applying here sine theta divided by theta means 1 so look at once this is theta theta tends to 0 sine theta by theta so ax 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 x into a into a garna milsa x tends to 0 by sin theta by theta always 1 huncha so as a whole term you pure term bhaneko hamro value 1 huncha tesari nai hamro yo pure term ko value 1 huncha here is also sin theta by theta and cos bx means it is 0 x ko thau ma 0 rakhda it will be cos 0 0 into b of course 0 so cos 0 means 1 and finally we get a upon c so, our next question is the trigonometric function of sin cos 10 cos x a cot. This is the term. I am going to put the value of this is the term of trigonometric function. Sin theta by theta or tan theta by theta. I am going to put the value of this term. I am going to put the value of this term. I am going to put the value of this term. So, this is the way to solve it. So, limit x tends to p x square minus p square divided by 10 x minus p so how to solve this question look at once so limit now let's write the question x square minus p square divided by 10 x minus p so this is the form of 0 by 0 so as you look this question then when x is equal to p in this place then it will be p square minus p square of course 0 in numerator similarly in the place of x when we put the value of x p in this place then we get p minus p 0 and we know that 10 0 means it is 0 so we can see 0 by 0 which is indeterminate form so don't substitute directly in this question so we can arrange this term in the theorem in the property so we have this is the property x minus p and x plus p and denominator is same now we can arrange like this limit x tends to p now x minus p divided by 10 x minus p so this term will be the this term will be the one and the limit x tends to p and we have x plus p so this one so i said i mean arrange got so i mean sanga i mean lee barkare you term ra you term lay arrange got on you term ra you term lay arrange got so you arrange got no objective q this will be one we can use the property we can use the rule and we have the remaining term this one again we have the limit your term go like if any limit is same so we can break down these two terms by inserting limit and limit limit i mean that home open use gonna suck some kune problem sign up so this term will be one and when x is equal to p limit ko value rack home limiting value of x is p then it will be p plus p so finally it will be 2p so in this case we are using this formula limit theta tends to 0 theta divided by tan theta is also 1 so this is also one of the formula 
theta upon tan theta when theta tends to 0. That means also it is 1. So, your formula and your step ma lao da, your curly bracket with the whole term zain, it will be 1. So, 1 times this means this one, p plus p, 2p. So, in this way, we can use this formula while solving for such type of questions.